Okay, we've been getting a lot of questions about how to view your feedback once you've taken a quiz in the library workshop. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration on how you do that. Um, the first thing you want to do is choose the classroom you're in. So right now we're in the Wayne College Library Services Summer 2014, but just choose the correct um, semester that you're viewing. And then um, once you're in that classroom, locate the button for quizzes and you should have all the quizzes that you have available to you here. Now it's not obvious, but right here there's this little carrot. When you click on that, um, you'll get a little pop-up box that asks you if you want to look at your submissions. And go ahead and click on that. And in this example, this student has two attempts for this uh, quiz for workshop one, and I want to see my feedback for my second attempt. So what I want to do is actually click on that attempt and then it will bring up your feedback. So I'm going to scroll through here. It will only show you the questions that you um, got wrong or lost points on. And um, for example, question 5, I've lost one point. Um, question 12 is a multiple choice. I got that one wrong. Um, all you have to do is click on View Feedback. And every question will at least give you uh, the tutorial that you need to review to figure out what you got wrong. Now some of them, some of the questions, the ones that are like short answer questions, will also add additional feedback if there's some clarification that needs to be made. For example, in question 20, I lost one out of two points. So why did I lose one of these points? So I can click on view feedback and then um, there will be a note from the person who graded it that says for this one there needs uh, this question should have been entered as an actual question a complete sentence ending with a question mark instead of just a general phrase that was entered in there so that's um, why one point was lost and then for more information which tutorials need to be reviewed and then um, for example here's question 22 that asks for a phrase search I lost one point on that so if I view my feedback I'll see that the person who graded it it took a point off because uh, this answer is missing the quotation marks. And if I'm like, well, why do I need quotation marks? Well, then I can go ahead and review the tutorials that are recommended. So that's how you review your um, quiz results so that you can go ahead and review the appropriate tutorials and do better on your next attempt.